I just watched you practice today. I thought you had a really good day. It's, uh, making some plays in the football. How'd that feel to get your hands on the ball? Um, you know what? First of all, it feels good to even be out here with my teammates. Uh, and just to be able to make plays, man, um, is, is, is always a, a pleasure, man. Is, is a privilege, and it takes a lot of hard work to be able to make those plays. And uh, we've been putting in that hard work, and uh, it's good to see it pay off against, against Tampa. You enjoy going against someone else for the first uh, time? That yeah. felt so good. It felt so good. Um, just to get to go against, you know, those guys. And, you know, it's a good group, and it actually uh, pushes us and helps us embrace the challenge of going against someone else to see how good you kind of really are. And, um, how, how much improvement you need to make as well. And then, like I said, we got a few more weeks before the regular season starts, and, and then we're just trying to grow and build from there. How does it help the mental side to see just a different look on the offense than what you've been seeing all, all camp so far? Um, you know, it, it helps It helps you think a little bit more. Um, it challenges you to uh, push your uh, physical, mental um, uh, stamina because you, you're tired and you got to you know, actually go and look at another, another team, new, new formations, things that you probably haven't seen. And that's uh, good because it helps communication with the defense as well. Um, but yeah, like I say it's a challenge, and uh, that's what camp's for. It's to challenge you to get you better and to prove as a team. So Coach mentioned earlier today that you guys came out a day early. And he, he wanted to do that to kind of help build camaraderie and build that bond a little mm -hmm. bit. How did you see that impact as what the day off of the guys yesterday? I think, uh, like I said, I think Coach got a good game plan for us. Uh, whether that's days on, off, uh, coming a day early, um, I think he has a good structured game plan for us, and uh, he sees where he wants the team to go and. Like I say, he's, he's got a, a good uh, repertoire of uh, success in his career. So, like I said, we got full trust in Coach, and uh, we believe in everything he does. And um, we just in, in embraced and, and, and uh, loved on each other yesterday, a little TLC as a team, and uh, it was really, really good. So today on the defensive side over there, I saw plenty of swatted passes. Some, mm -hmm. I guess would-be sacks, we can't really call them sacks. Right. So not going to finish the play. But how much confidence does it give you as a defensive back when the front is playing as well as they have been so far this game? Man, um, it's, it's a lot, man. It gives you a lot of confidence. Um, it allows you to play uh, a little bit patient. It allows you to play comfortably. Um, but it's a team game. It's a team sport. Uh, the, if the front's doing well, the back end's doing well, um, you know, if anyone lacks in any area, then obviously it'll show somewhere on the field. But it's been a pleasure to have a good group up front. Um, those guys, man, has been playing really well. And, you know, we got a good group in the back end led by X, man. He's uh, – you know, mentoring all of us uh, as well as Rowe and a lot of other guys, all the veterans, man, we're coming in as a group. And um, like I say, it's, it's a team sport and, you know, everybody's doing their job and trying to get better and improve as a team. So I know you're obviously a great teammate, a great team guy. No I question. want to ask you about a question about you real quick. Cause right. You play special teams mm -hmm. for most of your career. I see you come up and make these tackles and screens in a short game and you just come up and you seem like you're making a play every day where you're at the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Special teams kind of carry over for the tackling for a cornerback like that? Um, I think in the aspect of just attacking the ball, because uh, special teams is, is all about getting to the ball and finding that niche of, you know, finding that pathway to get to the ball, excuse me. Um, but I think uh, it's just an instinct of mine just to get to the ball that, uh, you know, it, it travels from special teams, I would say. Uh, but I think, you know, as a football player, um, I probably looked at the special teams my whole, uh, entire career. But... Um, most people don't know, I start on offense, so if I see certain things as a defensive back, I try to relay it to my little offensive knowledge that I do have. And, um, you know, it's just it's just fun for me. Uh, like I said, I play fast, and I play physical, and I, my main thing is to attack the ball. And once I see the ball, is you know, it's, it's like a bull that sees a red flag. So that's what I try to do, man, to attack the ball and play fast for my teammates. When did you flip from offense? Was that in college? Uh, you know what? Um, I would say it was kind of right in college. I went in, I was supposed to win in as a uh, scrambling quarterback, oh, okay. a triple option quarterback. But once I got there, I seen like, you know, a couple of 350 pound guys. I was like, yeah, coach, I'm done with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of this world here. So um, it's been a pleasure, man, just to, you know, be able to get on the defensive side of the ball. And like I said, I'm here to help the team to do uh, whatever we need to do to win and, uh, and improve. And that's, that's what I'm here to do, man. Whether it's offense, defense, special teams, you know, it could be water boy, I'll do it. So I'm here to help the team. One more for you, real quick. Like, you know, over here. Okay. Uh, so uh, one of the things that I've, I've heard as a theme is the way you guys pursue the football, right? Mm -hmm. I think Jalen mentioned like the way you the way you can measure your love for your teammates is the way you run the foot, yeah. after the football. I just want to hear your perspective on that philosophy. Well, we always say you know the closer you are to the football, the football, excuse me, the closer you are to the football is how much you love your teammates, right? So um, it just shows one thing. Um, I think a lot of guy, a lot of you guys know as well is. Um, you can control effort as a player. You can't really control what the other team comes out formation-wise. You can't control what your coach call. You got an idea, right? But one thing you control as teammates is effort to the ball. And I think one thing that we try to pursue um, in, in, in a certain terms here, I know as on defense, is 
getting to the ball, effort, and uh, we try to play relentless, man. We got a young squad, and like I say, we we we, we get in some football shape here. And one thing you will see is is a lot of uh, dolphins around that football, and that's one thing we're gonna can continue to do um, and strive for perfection on. Keon, um, yes, sir. I know you got a couple years in the league, but you know in that cornerback room with, uh, with Byron coming back from pup, it's really X and a lot of young guys. Just how have you seen X really take on uh, being a leader and leading that young group? He said like he sets the tone, but how, how do you see him set the tone? Um, you know, I think we, as we all know, X is a Pro Bowl guy, he's an all pro guy, and uh, Egg leads by example. Um, X helped a lot of guys out with his on the field, off the field. Um, if he see things, I know one of my first couple of days coming in, he, you know, he was speaking on, you know, reading certain things about a wide receiver that I won't probably get into for you guys, but uh, he's really he's really a good teammate, man. And um, like I said, that goes for all our ventures in the room, whether it's you know Eric Rowe, whether it's uh, even to the young guys like. Um, like, uh, you know, safety, eight ball. Um, and we all try to help each other, you know. But, you know, obviously X is the, the lead factor behind it. He's going to make sure everybody's, in, in, you know, correct. He's going to make sure everybody understands and knows. And I think one thing he does is he'll show you if you can't, if he can't sh uh, speak it to you and kind of show you an example, he'll show you on the field uh, what you mean, whether that's, you know, him taking that extra five minutes out of his day, he's going to do what he needs to do as well as our other vets to show us and make sure that we all on the same page. You ever find yourself just kind of like watching from the sideline? You're like, damn, they're not even testing that. They just, he on the island. Uh, you know what? I, I, I find myself, I do that every day, literally. Every day we play, I watch him like a hawk, like a hawk see a snake going through the, the grass, right? Because with guys like that, you don't really get um, a chance to, to really play with guys like that every day. You know what I mean? It's, it's a blessing just to be on the same team with them. And uh, I would think I'd, I'd take a lot of credit and advantage, uh, advantage of watching him, whether it's a step, whether it's a movement, you know, he come out of play. I know he's dead. So I'm like, why you see, why you do that? Why, what you see? And he, you know, he's grateful and humble enough to tell me, you know, or any other guy like, yeah, I saw this. And it's like, you know, that's helpful because you make it the same play. So we, uh, we try, like I said, he does a great job. He's a great leader. And uh, I'm glad to be in the same room and play with him. Appreciate it, Keon. No um, doubt.